Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to use my house laboratories glam room number one palette. I hadn't actually planned on filming today. I, I do do a lot of pre-filming per se and I was talking to um, one of my YouTube friends, Will Venus. He is across the pond. He's across the pond creator that I was introduced to by Ash from Makeup and Chaos. I will leave both of them in the description box. Please do yourself a favor and go follow both of them if you aren't already. Um, most of you know Ash. They are just a delight. They have more talent in their tip of their pinky finger than I could ever dream of having. And Will is so, so down to earth. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy his channel. He has two channels, um, and the other channel I have a very personal connection to. So, I'm so very grateful for both of their friendship. But, um, Will did a video the other day, an unboxing of a, I think it was a Mama Mitchell times or X, I can't remember what the collaborator he he Mitchell did it with, but at any rate, Will did an unboxing and one of the um items was a eyeliner and it the name of it was Gaga. And we we just kinda got to chatting in the comments and I told him, you know, that that was actually what my grandchildren called me. So we, we got to talking about that. So, anyway, it prompted me to pull out my House Labs palette. This did come in a boxy charm. And upon looking at this, this looks pretty basic, pretty neutral. There are pops of color, but they're very um, subdued. However, I still like them. So, I wanted to just do a look based on that. And um, we also, he he had just learned that my mama Mitchell did the collab several years ago with P. Louise. And let me show it up close. It is the Acid Rain Eye Base. And this one is in the shade Blank Canvas. And like I was telling him, this stuff lasts forever. Like, you can see the tube. Okay. I've had this for a long time. I squeezed out a bunch. Y'all know I saved my little pots for this very reason. And I had um, given some to someone who hadn't tried it before. So, I was like, you know what? I gotcha. So, I was able to squeeze out some and she's still using it because it only takes normally i don't even squeeze i just plop my finger right there and whatever i get on there is what i use and it does both eyes but <clears throat> this is a little bit drying however Most of the time, I don't even have to set this with a powder, especially if I put it on and I don't do my eye makeup right away, which I may wait and do the eye makeup just because my eyes are watering somewhat. I have... um. I use Flonase, and I have just taken some Benadryl, so hopefully that will try to dry it up a little bit. You go into this palette for the eyes. There's one, two, three, four. There's four mattes in this palette. 
this one, this one, this one, and then this one. And the rest of them feel like satins and um, some shimmers, but <clears throat> I mean, this isn't going to be a groundbreaking look by any means, but we're going to give it a whirl. I haven't wore this in a long time, and I do remember liking it when I first got it, so we'll see. And these, this product and the lip liner that I'm going to use were from when she had her collection on Amazon. I'm going to do one eye on and one eye off. She, um, she has some really pretty palettes that I like, but <clears throat> not enough that I am going to pay the astronomical price that these palettes are. As of the day that I'm filming this, this palette on Amazon is $20.56, I think. Which, you know, is not bad for one, two, three, four, five, ten shades. And this, it, it, it's a very good formula. I, I had no problems with it. I don't believe it was just a palette that I kind of had these colors and you know other palettes so but they blend just very very nicely use a different brush I want to put a little bit of that black in Now, for the shimmer shades, I will swatch some of them. They do feel very dry. However, that's okay. Those four. And the last two are the gold and this light color, which is like that. And uh, swatch them. And let's see what color do I want to go with. I really wanted to go with this color. And I may do that. I may do hmm, this color and then this purple right there. I mean, kind of predictable, y'all. You had to know that that was a big possibility of me going in with a purple. I love purples. All right, let's see. We'll go in with this deep brown. And as per usual, I am going to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. And I'm just going to tap that.
and then I'm going to wipe it off and go into that light purple. Let's spray it in. This, uh, this section of my eye. Go back with a little bit more of that brown to just kind of blend them together a little bit. Maybe I'll take that darker purple and just put it in the center a little bit to kind of connect the two. Blend it. Definitely out of my comfort zone, <laughs> but that's what we need to do sometimes okay now let me do the other side and I will be right back I intensified the black a little bit um, and then I kind of wanted to really stop because I feel my eye watering and I don't want to mess it up anymore than it is, and I just kind of took what was left on that small brush, and I just ran a little bit right there on the edge of my lip liner on. This is the House Labs Lip Liner in the shade. It's the Rip Lip Liner in the shade in point. And it is a, it's a pencil, and it's a brown, that first shade right there, that's the color. I'm not a fan of these lit pencils for the price they originally were. This came in a subscription box. I didn't really have a choice of the color that I got. But, right now they're five or six dollars on Amazon, so For that price, I'd say pick it up. And I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color Metallic in the shade, I think, No Shine 701. Maybe that's, let's see if that's, but at any rate, this did not look metallic on me. In my opinion, it wasn't as metallic, maybe, as some of the others. I think it complements a lot of different looks. And let's put a little mascara on for good measure. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Tubing Mascara. Oops. 
is it. And this is the completed book. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this House Labs palette. Oh, it does have um, shades on the back. <laughs> How about that? So, all in all, I am glad I pulled this palette out of the uh, declutter pile. It was, I put it in the declutter pile simply because I thought I had these tones and some other palettes. However, this one's coming back out. Um, it, it definitely gave me a very pretty achievable look. Um, anyway, thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great day. Be beautiful. Be kind. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.